Hey, good morning, my bees. I'm just at the Master's Apiary. I've um, come over this morning because we haven't seen each other in, um, you know, several weeks now. And um, just come to have some coffee, exchange some knowledge, you know how it is, have a good old chat about beekeeping. Um, I bought a friend of mine some honey, couple of jars, and there is a third one in here which I bought because Asira is my friend. As we have this cost, you know, that is going to be for you. So, yeah, man, right now I've just been to, uh, what do you call it? The beekeeper shop this morning as well. So I have purchased, you remember what that is, yeah? That, uh, I need to go do them now, yeah? But then I've also bought this bad boy because it's it terribly terribly hot over here this is a proper what do you call it you know you would pour water in here and it would be just around the edges and this is where the bees will just you know um get low drink as much as they want and do their thing yeah so yeah back to the garage now gonna go gonna go and get the wax bases done once i have the wax bases done then I'm going to be heading over to the apiary and man I'm going to have to go for each and every single one of them Whew, it's going to be a toasty one but it is what it is we all know what we signed up for yeah I have just finished doing the wax bases and I am getting ready so I have I got 10 in here ready. I use I use the actual corpus as a as a carrying box kind of thing, right? And just had all of them done. I'm putting them in here, loading up the family van, and off I bloody go to the apiary in what's that? 37 degrees Celsius. I wanted to introduce you to the second strongest hive that we have right now. So currently this one as you can tell is sitting on eight frames. We've got a couple more towards the end. That's eight, two, four, six, eight. Yeah, that's quite right. So that one's sitting on eight. That one there, the far end corner, you remember the strongest one. That one is currently now sitting on 10. When they have, um, you know, finished building the last frame that I've given them, we are going to add another, well, you guys like to call it a box, but it is called the corpus so we are we're adding another box you know right on top do you know what there is actually an alternative as to what we can do we could actually you know take some of the eggs over there you know take a frame of eggs that are about to hatch and trans wow you know not transplant but literally transplant them you know to another hive which is you know um much weaker so we can even them up you know that is an option too that i didn't think of right now but uh yeah we'll see but in here we have got plenty of new babies literally babies these are bees you see them crawling right at the bottom they can't fly as yet they must have just hatched so their job as they have just hatched is to firstly get used to their surrounding areas and also they are initially taking care of you know the other eggs on the frames and also you know they're responsible for cleaning the hive so let's let's have a quick look you see right now it's so hard to work with one hand okay you see all of this round here all of this that is precious honey you know what guys i don't want to jinx things but looking at the way we're going and things are developing I reckon I'm gonna be able to get honey out in autumn time, you know, just before the winter and get a little bit of honey out because it's going to be too much to leave for the bees. You know, it's good to leave the bees with, you know, plenty of honey, but not too much because it could, it could become a, a target for diseases. So I really don't want that. So there is certain amounts I need to leave and really not more than that. So I'm planning on actually, as I said, Fingers crossed, don't want to jinx it, but come autumn time, we're going to get some honey out and I'm planning on actually just shipping it out to you, my dear bees. Um, you know, just a little taste for everyone, more of a marketing, you know, 
little trick and yeah just give it away for free kind of thing so we'll see let's get there first and we'll worry about it then all right bees so this is again the same what are you guys doing there why are you trying to try my thumb naughty anyways so this is the same beehive but i wanted to show you remember couple or about almost two weeks ago you remember when we transported them you remember the little empty frame with no wax base on where i was thinking should i you know get rid of it and um you know let make them start over or just leave them you know finish off their what they've started and i'm so happy i didn't remove it but i left it look at this piece of art man look at it. it's so much honey in there as well it is crazy they've done such a good job and i love the way they've done it right because this is very unusual kind of flaring they've done so it's got honey around here then it's got eggs up this corner then it's got more honey in the middle and it's got more eggs around this corner as well it's just the way they've done it is absolutely amazing finally all done i'll have service teaching every single one of them and these guys are pulling incredibly strong man i'm so proud of them but something i've done differently today i have basically opened up you know this upper section well for entertainment purposes let's call it a fire exit yeah so i've opened up the fire exit because it is getting super hot man and these guys when i came over last night you know from my road trip literally i didn't even go home my i came straight to the apiary and um it was about six seven o'clock in the evening and i could see all of them like just crawling on the outside and normally the way they behaved is because it was too hot it's like look at these guys right let me just get closer to them but the way they behaved was kind of bizarre i was like man these guys they must be very hot but look at these guys eh? Look at how many are there, just swarm in the front. This is also, this is the second strongest hive I showed you in the video earlier. So no surprise there's so many bees in there. But um, yeah, I've helped them out a little bit, opened up this um, up a bit and hopefully that will make a big difference for them. So in the warden's lounge last night, we spoke about, you know, what my plans are to the end of this year. And I was talking about, you know, in an ideal scenario, we want 200 beehives ready for 2024 and a warehouse being built. But the warehouse is a rather big investment. And I just kept thinking about it since last night, you know, for like, Plan B, C, D, all the way to Z is normally how I proceed. I have a plan for everything. So I was thinking, you see this massive plum tree right here? Hang on, let me just get away from the sun because it's annoying. All right, here we go. So, oh my days, my, my camera is terrible. Anyways, what I'm thinking is potentially getting rid of this. Yeah, I know. I know it's keeping shade, it's keeping, you know, nice and covered from the winds. But in its place, it will be absolutely perfect to have a little, you know, little kind of wooden shed, you know, this kind of outbuilding here. Because firstly, I'm going to be able to keep all of my tools here, you know, nice and secure. Don't have to be going back and forth to the other town, to the garage to get him, come back and uh, all of this chaos. We haven't even started, you know, purchasing the actual expensive equipment. You know, there is a... I don't know how you call it in English, though, but... Um, it's like a big, massive round thing. Like, it resembles exactly the same kind of thing. Um, what do you call it? The... A washing machine has the inside bit, yeah? But you would put... You would place frames inside and you'll start spinning and this is how you extract the honey that is a few thousands on its own we need the top where the honey is going to be poured and and filtered that is a few thousands as well so 
Yeah, I need to start thinking more seriously because this is expensive equipment and it's very important when it comes to actually, you know, getting the honey out of the frames. It'll be a no-brainer doing it any other way. And, um, yeah, we might be saying goodbye to this beautiful tree right behind me regardless of how much I don't want to be doing it. I don't know, we'll see. Oh, I'll, I'll have... I'll think about it more, but... As you know, guys, bees come first, yeah? And if that's going to help the bees, then... I may have to say goodbye to the plum tree. But to make up for it... Plum tree there. Plum tree there. Plum tree there. That is a plum tree. Right behind it, I've got a couple more plum trees. That is a plum tree. I got a ton of plum trees over here. So it may not be a big loss. Alright. Bees, I'll speak to you tomorrow.